Hey guys, welcome back to Shell Tech. Sheldon here again, and I'm here to help you with all your tech buying decisions. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below. It really helps out. Today I have another webcam review for you. This is the W15 Ring Light Stream Cam Pro from Jellycomb. This 60 FPS autofocus three stage ring light is geared towards gamers, streamers, or anybody looking for that 1080p full HD clear and smooth image. Shout out to Jellycomb for sending me this so I can give an honest review. So let's unbox, set up, and give a an video and audio test of the Jellycomb W15 Ring Light Stream Cam Pro. Okay, let's unbox the Jellycomb W15 Stream Cam Pro 1080p webcam. This webcam is compatible with most major operating systems like Windows, Linux, Android, Mac, but also can be used with software and services like Zoom, OBS, Twitch, Skype, and many more. Opening the blue and white box, we have a large multilingual user manual and then the webcam itself. So no clutter or extras included with the W15, just clean and efficient packaging. The Streamcam Pro runs for around $45 on Jellycomb website and has a resolution of 1080p full HD. It also performs at a maximum of 60 frames per second. So that should provide a sharp and smooth picture that most streamers and gamers would prefer. We will test that video later in this review. Taking a closer look at the W15, one of the unique features is the magnetic privacy cover. This cover is just a magnet that attaches around the lens of the webcam. The cover also acts as a switch to turn off the ring lights when not in use. This is my first time seeing a webcam handle the privacy cover this way, as a dual purpose tool and as a really nice innovative feature. When the cover is not in use, it can be attached on the clip or directly on the specially marked HD place on the back of the camera. The monitor clip is flexible and versatile, which allows the W15 to be angled or placed easy and conveniently on your monitor, your desk, or even your tripod. The Streamcam Pro webcam includes autofocus, auto brightness, and color correction, which all provides smart imagery that is really tailored to people who are live streaming. This Jellycomb webcam also has 360 degree rotation to help you position the cam to capture your perfect angle. Dual noise reduction mics are located on the back of the cam. They are supposed to offer crystal clear sound, but I suggest to use an external mic with all webcams. But we'll test these mics later. So a standard one quarter inch tripod mount is embedded on the bottom of the clip although a tripod is not included with the W15 webcam. Set up as a breeze with its five and a half foot USB-A cable, which is plug and play, so it should be found easily by your computer. I placed my Streamcam Pro on my monitor where I assume most people will use it and it fits snugly and securely using the included clip. A touch controlled switch is located on top of the cam pictured by the light bulb symbol, which in turn controls the three color ring light used to improve low light situations. When plugged in and connected to software, the indicator light will turn blue. And then the three light color modes can be operated with a light tap on top. The three modes are cool white, warm, and daylight. A long press of the touch control will adjust the brightness of each light mode. So after using the flexible clip to adjust the 90 degree view lens, just to get that perfect angle, let's give a video and audio test of the Jellycomb W15 Streamcam Pro 60 FPS webcam. So here's my video test of the Jellycomb W15 Stream Cam Pro. Right off the bat, as I walked up to the webcam, you can see a small test of the autofocus, auto brightness, and color correction. All these combined, which makes this 1080p webcam look pretty good to me. Combined with the 60 FPS, the W15 is adjusting and capturing all my movements pretty responsibly and smoothly. You can see in the video that the camera, for any movement or sudden movement I make, it's adjusting right on the fly to give you me the best possible picture. So right now I'm using the external mic, my trusty Fifine K678. I always suggest an external mic with any webcam because that's going to be the best sound for your streaming, Zoom, homeschooling, or work. But I'll give a test of the internal mic in a few seconds to see how that sounds. Lighting, I'm using a couple umbrellas. It's giving off a nice room filling uh, light. You know, the better lighting you have for any webcam will make the picture look better and make it pop some more. Uh, right now I'm using OBS to record this video. It's a great uh, software, but Jellycomb provides its own software, Amcam, 
AMCAP software, which you can download from the site. I'll leave a link down below if you want to pick one of those up, if you decide to get this webcam. For an IC, from what I see, the picture looks pretty good. For a 40 something dollars, 1080p webcam, the colors are a little lighter. The blacks aren't as deep as I've seen on other webcams, but the details are clear. The wide angle view is picking up most of the room. So this camera would be good for group presentations or anybody who needs to show more real estate behind them. Now checking the ring light feature of this webcam, you got three levels. Pressing the light sensitive touch bar, dar, touching the light bar on top, you can change them from you know, warm, which adds some big glow to your subject and face. You can go to the next level of cool white that's actually adding like a LED effect on your face, so really brightening up your face or the, any subject that you have directly in front of the webcam. And the final one you have is daylight. Adds a little bit of tinge of yellow to, this, to the warm light, but a little bit of white light too. So it's adding a little bit of yellow to the subject, but also giving a nice glow and nice, nice look to the picture. Now let's give a test of the internal mic and see how that sounds. So here's the internal mic test of the Jellycomb W15 Steering Cam Pro. How's it sound to you guys? Good, bad, passable? Drop a comment down below and tell me what you think. Of course, an internal mic is not going to sound as great as an external mic, but you want it to sound good enough where you can get by without the external mic. So that was a test of the sound of the W15 Stream Cam Pro. So after checking out my little test of this Jellycomb webcam, I find it to be pretty good. This webcam is geared towards streamers and gamers with its 60 FPS and ring light, but in my opinion, it is suitable for anybody in need of a smoother cam. The picture is good, the privacy cover is innovative, and the ring lights are nice and bright to light up most subjects. The mic is not great, it could be because my room has more echo as the conditions may not be optimal, but if you are a streamer, which this webcam is geared to, you most likely will be using the external mic. For around $44, I really think this is a good budget 60 FPS webcam with a ton of features. So that was an unboxing and test of the Jellycomb W15 Streamcam Pro webcam. As always, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, and you can use my code to get 10% off your order. If you have any questions or comments about this webcam, drop them down below also. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other webcam reviews coming up now. Thanks for watching.